गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आप सबों का बहुत बहुत अभिनंदन इस वीडियो में बात करेंगे करंट अफेयर से जुड़े हुए महत्वपूर्ण प्रश्न बने रहिए इस चैनल में देखते रहिए सीखते रहिए आगे बढ़ते रहिए आई कैन डू इट तो डेफिनेटली इसके लिए आपको भी कदम से कदम बढ़ाना होगा ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन पहला सवाल आपके स्क्रीन पर है कंसर्ट दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू संगीत नाटक अकेडमी संगीत नाटक अकेडमी इट इज एन ऑटोनोमस बॉडी अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर हुज चेयरमैन इज अपॉइंटेड बाय द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया कोटियाट्टम केंद्रा सात्रिया केंद्रा शाहू केंद्रा आर सम ऑफ द कॉम्पोनेंट यूनिट्स ऑफ अकाडमी संगीत नाटक अकाडमी फेलोशिप is the highest honor given by the sangeet natak academy without distinction of nationality race caste religion creed or sex which are the correct i think you know about that it's a c1 and 3 because sangeet natak academy is a autonomous body under the ministry of culture government of india the chairman of the sangeet natak academy is appointed by the president of india for a year of 5 years sangeet natak academy has three components three constituents in its two of these being dance teaching institution the number one that is jawahar lal nehru manipur dance academy at imphal and karthak kendra in delhi beside the constituents unit The academy presently has a five center: Kottayam Kendra, Trivandrapuram, for the preserving and the promoting the age-old Sanskrit theatre of Kerala; Kottayam Satriya Kendra, Guwahati, for promoting the Satriya tradition of Assam; North Eastern Center, Guwahati, for preserving the traditional and folk performing art tradition of North East India; North East Documentation Center, Agartala, for the festival and the field. documentation of the north east chahu kendra chanda chandanan kiyari for promoting the chahu dance of eastern india the sangeet natak academy fellowship is the highest honor given by the sangeet natak academy without distinction of nationality race caste religion creed or sex the criteria restricts any person below the age of 50 to originally yeah, ordinarily to be considered for the honor recommendation are received from the current fellows along with the members of the general council of academy sangeet natak academy of culture ministry organizes vibrant cultural programs at india gate recently corona corona via joint work करोनो करोनी विया करोनो करोनी भाया जॉइंट नेटवर्क्स व्हाट इज दिस इट्स अ अग्रिक कल्चर से जुड़ा हुआ है करोनी वी भाया जॉइंट वर्क ऑन एग्रीकल्चर के जे डब्ल्यू ए एम्स टू रिकॉग्नाइज द यूनिक पोटेंशियल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इन टैकलिंग क्लाइमेट चेंज इट वाज एस्टैब्लिश Twenty third conference of the parties COP in Fiji as a new process to advance the discussion on agriculture in United Nations Framework Convention on the Climate Change (UNFCCC). The joint work will address six topics related to soil, nutrient use, water, livestock, method of assessing adaptation, and socio-economic and food security dimension of the climate change across the agriculture sector. India recently strongly objected the discussion, objected to discussion under a special UN Framework Convention on Climate Change effort to known as a Coronavia Joint Work on Agriculture. Strongly objected. Consider the following statement with respect to the Election Commissioner of India, EC. Election Commissioner is appointed by the president of india on the recommendation of the three member body consisting of the prime minister leader of opposition and speaker the constitution has prescribed that only civil servant of the rank of the cabinet secretary or the secretary shall be appointed as a member of the election commissioner 
member of the election commission. The constitution has not debarred the retiring election commissioners from any further appointment by the government. Only three is the right answer. Power of the appointment of the election commission, the chief election commissioner and the other election commissioner lies with the President of India under the Article 324, Sub 2 of the Constitution, which states that the President shall fix the number of the election commissioner, election commissions, election commissioners members in manner he see fits. The subject to the provisions of any law made by the Parliament, in the absence of the, any parliamentary law governing the appointment issue, the election commissioner are appointed by the government of the day without pursuing any consultation process. There are no prescribed qualifications for the appointment, although convention dictates that only senior are serving and retired civil servants of the rank of the cabinet secretary or the secretary to the government of India or equivalent rank will be appointed. Constitution has no debate. The retiring election commission for any further appointment by the government, Sri Arun Goel took over as a new election commissioner. With the reference to the National Suicide Prevention Strategy, National Suicide Prevention Strategy considered the following statement. The strategy is in line with the WHO's South East Asia Region Strategy for Suicide Prevention. National Suicide Prevention Strategies aims to integrate a mental well-being curriculum in all the educational and corporate institutions within the next decade. Which are the correct? I think only and only is the right answer. Why? Strategy in line with the WHO Southeast Asia Regional Strategy for Suicide Prevention. The strategy broadly seeks to establish effective surveillance mechanism for suicide within the next three years, not next decade, just within three years. It aims to stabilize the psycho, 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 psychiatric outpatient department that will provide suicide prevention services through the district mental health program in all districts within the next five years. It also seeks to integrate a mental well-being curriculum in all educational institutions within the next eight years. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare recently announced the National Suicide Prevention Strategy. Consider the following statement with respect to the Ring of Fire. A ring of Fire is a direct result of plate tectonic and consists of both convergent and divergent plates on boundaries. Volcanic eruptions and earthquakes in the part of the ring and are dependent on eruption and the earthquakes in the other parts of the ring which are the correct i think only and only is the right ring of fire is a direct result of black tectonic specifically the movement the collision the destruction of the lithospheric plate the thespic plate under the around the thespic ocean the ring of fire consists of convergent transport divergent it consists of convergent boundary, trans transform boundary, divergent plates, boundaries. The ring of fire is not a single geological structure. Volcanic eruption and earthquake in each part of the ring of fire occur independently of the eruptions and earthquake in other parts of the ring. There was an earthquake recently in Indonesia and ring of fire. Consider the following statement, Lalina seas cooler than the average sea surface temperature in the equatorial Pacific region SST. Sea surface temperature cooler in Lalina phase at the equatorial Pacific region. El Nino causes easterly trade winds change direction to the turn into the westerlies bringing warm water from the western Pacific towards the America. The phenomenon of welling, of welling, where nutrient-rich water rise towards the surface in increasing El Nino, which are the correct. 
फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट ला लेना यस ऑफ कोर्स फर्स्ट इज शुड बी एन आंसर ओनली एंड एंड ओनली 1 एंड 2 एंड 1 एंड 3 1 एंड 2 इज द राइट आंसर बिकॉज़ यू नो अबाउट दैट लालिना इज अपोजिट टू एल नीनो लालिना सी इज कूलर देन द एवरेज सी टेंपरेचर सरफेस टेंपरेचर इन द इक्वेटोरियल पैसिफिक रीजन रेड विंड्स आर स्ट्रांगर देन द यूजुअल पुशिंग वार्म वाटर टुवर्ड्स एशिया normally easterly trade winds blow from americas normally easterly trade winds blow from america towards asia america se asia ki taraf baat hai towards asia due to the el nino they falter and change the direction into westerlies bring warm water from western pacific towards the america the phenomenon of upwelling where nutrient rich waters rise towards the surface reduce under the el nino reduce under elino this is an turn reduce phytoplankton this a fish that eat phytoplankton is affected are affected followed by the other organism higher of the food chain constant new study published in the this week by journal nature communication finds that climate change is expected to be sudden strengthen the elino and lalina events by 2030 Red line campaign is a very simple question. That's the antimicrobial resistance. Under the red line campaign, the government of India urges people to not use medicine marked with a red line, vertical line, without a doctor prescription. The campaign is aimed at discouraging unnecessary prescription and over and over counter sale of antibiotics, causing drug resistance for the several critical diseases, including TB, malaria, dengue. Union Ministry of the State of for Health and Family Welfare, Doctor Something Praveen Pawar, will participate in third global high-level meetings ministerial conference on the antimicrobial resistance to be held in Muscat. Consider the following statement with respect to Mark Portal. Mark Portal is a one-stop platform to facilitate navigation and issue advisories. Advisories. in and around the indian ocean region it is a joint initiative of ministry of earth science and ministry of ports shipping and waterways marg portal okay it's a incorrect question nothing incorrect in this both are incorrect because marg portal that means mentorship advisory assistance resilient and growth mentorship assistance advisory resilience and growth is one of the top one stop platform to facilitate mentorship for the startups for the startup across diverse sectors function stages geographics and background it is related to startup department for promotion and industry and internal trade dpiit under the ministry of commerce and industry has recently launched a call for startup application for registration on mark portal the national mentorship program for the india so portal was launched by recently by dp iit consider the following statement with measles it is a highly contagious viral disease transmitted via droplets from nose mouth throat of infected person measles there is no specific antiviral treatment of measles it develops bear develops but vaccine are preventing at the disease is available yes see the right answer both are statement are correct measles are highly contagious viral disease transmitted via droplets from the nose mouth throat or infected person it can be cause life threatening complication including encephalitis as an infection that leads to swelling of the brain severe diarrhea or dehydration pneumonia ear infection and permanent vision loss there is no specific antiviral treatment if measles develop instead of medication are generally aimed at treating super infections maintaining good hydration with adequate fluids and pain relief but the measles vaccine is effective at preventing the disease is exceptionally safe 
and is often delivered in the combination with other vaccines. Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare was decided has decided to deport three high-level multidisciplinary three-member teams to Rachi, Jharkhand, Ahmedabad, Gujarat, and Malapuram, Kerala to took to take stock of the upsurge in the cases of measles. With the reference to the Ahom Kingdom, consider the following. Ahom Kingdom was founded by the Chip Borkapuan Borkfukan in 13th century in Brahmaputra Valley. Ahom state depend upon the labor force and those forced to work for the state were called Paikas. Ahoms were able to successfully defeat the Mughals in the Battle of Sarai Ghat. Yes, you know about that is the answer is only on the Two and three is right because a home kingdom was late medieval kingdom established in 1200-2028 in Brahmaputra Valley in Assam. The dynasty was established by Sukhapa, a son prince of Mongo Mao, Persian day Yuan, China, who came Assam after the crossing the Patkai Mountains. Ahom created a new state by suppressing the older political system of Bhuyas. The Ahom state depended upon horse labor. Those horse to work for the state were called Paikas. Ahom society was divided into clans, the Khels. The Khels often controlled several villages. In 1615, Ahom Kingdom engaged in the first significant conflict with the Mughal Empire. The Mughals conquered the Ahom capital of Ghargaon in 1662, but were defeated in later battles. Finally, during the Battle of Saraigat in 1671, Ahom, led by the Lachit Borpukan, successfully defeated the Mughal. The three-day long celebration of 400 births anniversary of Ahom General Lakshit Borpukan began in New Delhi. Consider the following statement regarding Agni 3. It is a nuclear-capable ballistic missile that has the capability of carrying warhead weighing, yeah, weighing as much as 15 tons. Agni 3 missile is known as world most accurate strategic ballistic missile of its range class due to the high range of circular error probable i think uh, sir b is the right because agni series of missile constitute the backbone of india's nuclear power nuclear weapons delivery which also include the prithvi short range ballistic missiles and the fighter aircraft. It has a range of 3500 kilometers and has a capability of carrying warhead of weighting much 1.5 tons. Due to its high range of the circular error probable, Agni 3 missile is known as the world most accurate strategic ballistic missile of its range class. The accuracy of the nuclear warhead also provides an opportunity of deploying larger number of nuclear force using less fusion material. India recently tested fire intermediate range ballistic missile Agri-3 from APJ Abdul Kalam Island, Odisha. Consider the following statement with respect to Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana. Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana scheme will cover oil seeds, food crops, annual horticulture crops with a uniform premium rate for all season. It covers losses arising out from pre-sowing to the post-sowing period including localized calamities such as attacks by the wild animals, war and nuclear risk. The yield estimation system based on the technology, yes, stack and collection on real-time 
observation and photographs cross cropic are employed under a scheme only three will be the answer the scheme covers all food grain and oil seed crops all cereals millets pulses oil seeds crops and all commercial horticulture crops the premium differs according to the season while it is 1.5 percent for ravi 2 percent for kharif season states may the state may consider providing aid on av coverage for crops loss due to the attack by state may consider state may consider providing an aid on coverage for the crop loss due to the attack by wild animals wherever the risk is perceived perceived to be the substantial and is identifiable but processes arising out of war losses losses arising out of war nuclear risk malicious damages or other preventable risks shall be excluded nuclear war nuclear risk malicious damage are preventable other preventable risks shall be excluded recently introduced weather information and network data system winds and yield estimation system best technology tech collection real time observation photographs cropic are some of the key steps taken the scheme brings it more efficiently in transparency union ministry of agriculture and farmer welfare is open to taking pro farmer changes in pradhan mantri fiscal bima yojana in response to the recent climate crisis and rapid technological advances consider the following statement with respect to world wildlife conference world wildlife conference it is the conference of parties of cities convention where all the parties to cities have the right to attend and the vote on vote on all direction and decision sites is not legally binding on the parties and does not take the places of national law yes only and only incorrect correct correct was only one a cops at cops cop of the sites also known as the wildlife conference all 184 parties of two sites have the right to attend to put forward proposal for the conference to consider and to vote on all decision 52 proposal have been put forward so that the that would affect the regulation on international trade for shark reptiles hippos songbirds rhinos tourney trees species orchid elephants turtle and more although the site is legally binding on the party although this is legally binding in other words they have no they have to implement the convention it does not take the place of national law it does not take place the national law rather it provides a framework to be respected by each party which has to adopt its one domestic legislation to ensure that site is implemented at the national level India's conservation efforts towards turtles and turtles needed lauded in the site scope 19 at Panama. Consider the following statement with respect to Central Information Commission. Central Information Commission is a statutory body which acts upon the complaints from those individuals who have not been able to submit information request to a central public information officer or a state public information officer the members of the cic are appointed on the recommendation of the committee consisting of the prime minister leader of opposition in the lok sabha and the union minister of you know, home minister the decision of the central information commission are final and binding I think only and only C is the right answer, 1 and 3. Central Information Commission is a statutory body set up under the Right to Information Act in 2005 under the Government of India to act upon the complaints from those individuals who have not been able to submit information request to the Central Public Information Officer or the State Public Information Officer due to the either the officer not have been appointed 
or because because the respective central assistant public information officer or the state assistant public information officer refused to receive the application for the information under the right to act information act the commission is commission includes one chief information commissioner and not more than 10 information commissioner who are appointed by the president of india on the recommendation of the committee consisting prime minister of chairperson leader of opposition of lok sabha union cabinet minister to be nominated by the prime minister it's a union cabinet minister nominated by the prime minister the decision of the central information commission are final and are binding under the section 19 of the right to information act it's a binding nature free trade agreements in india are approved by of course by the union cabinet india australia economic cooperation and trade agreement ai icta 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 needed ratification by the australian parliament before its implementation in india such pacts are approved by the just the union cabinet but in australia it's a very hard condition australia parliament approved free trade agreement with india consider the following statement with respect to constitution of india constitution of india imparts parliamentary supremacy and was adopted by its the people with the declaration in its preamble article 368 dictates the procedure for the constitutional amendment and the constitutional and the constitution has had a more than 100 amendments since it was enacted yes of course only only be the right it impacts imparts constitution imparts the constitution supremacy not the parliamentary supremacy since it was created by the constitution assembly rather than the parliament and was adopted by the its people with the declaration in its preamble 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 parliament cannot override the constitution as per article 368 dictates the procedure for the constitutional amendment amendments are addition variation repeal of any part of the constitution by the parliament the constitution has had 105 amendments since it was enacted constitution of india was adopted 26 november 1949 kutia kond kutia kond kutia kutia kond kond to hai bhai odisha mein kutia konds are the part PVTG tribal group Kutia Kond tribal group in the Kala Handi district Odisha they live in something 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 the Kondas worship nature like uh, Kondas worship nature like many other tribal groups in country members of the committee take turns to protest forest and wildlife that surrounded their houses consider the following statement with respect to gulf cooperation council gcc gulf cooperation council it is a political and economic alliance of middle eastern countries where all the member states are monarchies the supreme council is the highest authority of the organization and the presidency rotates periodically among the member states by the voting gulf cooperation council gulf cooperation council is currently india's largest trading partner block what i think uh, first should be eliminated and d 1 and 3 is the right answer all are monarchy that's it gulf cooperation council is a political and economic alliance of the six middle eastern countries of the arabia kuwait United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Bahrain, Oman, all current members, all current members of the state are monarchies, including three constitutional monarchies, Qatar, Kuwait, and Bahrain. Two absolute monarchies, Saudi Arabia, Oman, and one federal monarchy, United Arab Emirates, which is composed of seven member states, each of which is an absolute monarchy with its one Amir. Gulf Cooperation Council Supreme uh, Supreme Council is composed of the heads of the state of the member state. It is the highest decision making of the GCC 
setting its vision and goals decision while issue the procedural matter requiring the majority each member state has one vote the presidency rotates based on the alphabetical order of the names of the member 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 states gcc is currently india's largest trading partner block with bilateral trade in financial equities by is valued at us dollar 154 billion with exports valued at approximately us dollar 44 billion and imports around 110 billion non oil export of usd india gulf cooperation council decided to pursue resumption of free trade uh, negotiation agreement negotiation answer the following statement with respect to the periodic labor force survey plfs periodic labor force survey aims to estimate the key employment and unemployment indicators in this short time interval the three months for the urban areas only a person is considered to be unemployed if he she did not work even for one day during the preceding week but was available for a work under the current weekly status up status approach it was launched by the nsso post 2008 re- recession crisis which are the correct about plfs i think only and only is the right you know about that jd clever force for it was designed with the two major objectives for the measurement of employment and unemployment what the first two measures the dynamic in labor force participation and employment status in a short time interval of the 3 months for only the urban areas in the current weekly status second was for the both rural and urban areas to measure the labor force estimates on key parameters in both usual status and currently weekly status in the cws approach currently weekly status approach a person is considered unemployment unemployed if he she did not get work even for one hour on a one day during a week but sought to or work was available for at least for one hour on a day during the period considered the considering the importance of the availability of the labor force data at more frequent time intervals national statistics office nso launched periodic labor force survey of, in 2017 india's unemployment rate dips 7.2% july september 22 2022 according to nso periodic labor force survey military exercise associated arm force samanvay garuda shakti nasim al bahar parvat prahar which are the following pairs are correctly matched samanvay is the garuda shakti only only one pair Indian Air Force is conducting the annual joint humanitarian assistance and disaster relief HADR exercise samanvay Indian Air Force from 28 something something Air Force Station Air Force Station Agra it is a joint training exercise between the indian special forces and indonesia garuda air force special forces indian special forces and indonesia special forces it is held at the sangha bhavna training yeah exercise is 18 edition something 
India Navy's guided missile stealth frigate INS Trikand offshore patrol vessel INS Sumitra and maritime patrol aircraft Dornier participated in 13th edition of the Indian Navy Royal Navy or Oman RNO bilateral exercise Nasim Al Bahar. The exercise num Parvat Prahar is being conducted by the One Strike Corpus of the Indian Army. Parvat Prahar was a long day exercise of Indian Army. Consider the following statements regarding the gram negative bacteria. Gram negative bacteria are enclosed in a proactive capsule which helps prevent white blood cells from the ingesting the bacteria. Gram bacteria are classified by the polarity they exhibit after a chemical process called gram staining is used on them which are incorrect. B is incorrect. Gram-negative bacteria are enclosed in a protective capsule. This capsule helps prevent white blood cells from ingesting the bacteria. Under the capsule, gram-negative bacteria have an outer membrane that protects them against certain antibiotics such as penicillin. Gram negative bacteria are classified by the color. They turn after a chemical process called gram staining is used on them. Gram negative bacteria stain red. When this process is used, gram positive bacteria. Gram positive bacteria stain blue when it stain is applied to them. With the reference to the black corals, consider the following. Black coral. Black corals can be found growing both in shallow waters and down to the depth of the over 1000 meters. They are relay on the sun in photosynthesis for energy and also eat tiny dew plankton that are abundant in the deep waters black corals i think it's a only and only a will be the answer black corals can be found growing both in shallow waters as well as down to the depth over eight thousand meter and some individual coral can live over four thousand years many of these corals are branched and look like feathers fan and bushes while others are straight like a weave. Unlike the unlike their colorful shallow water cousins that relay on the sun and the photosynthesis for energy, black corals are filter feeders and eat teeny dew plankton that are abundant in the deep waters, similar to shallow water corals that build colorful reefs or full of fish. Black corals act as an important habitat where fish and invertebrates feed, hide from predators in what otherwise mostly barren sea floor. Unlike the unlike the uh, unlike their colorful shallow water cousins that relay on the sun and photosynthesis, these black corals are filter feeders and eat teeny jute plankton that are abounded in the deep waters, similar to the shallow water corals that build colorful reefs full of fish. Black corals act as an important habitat where fish and invertebrates feed. Scientists discovered the new species of black coral near the Great Barrier Reef. What is the Navy recently? 
x x up that's a anti it's a survey vessel is khak the third survey the third of the four survey vessels project being built by the grc and lnt for indian navy was launched katpatli chennai indian navy launched isk hak the third of the four survey vessel project at katpatli katpulai katpulai in tamil nadu not katpatli so katpulai consider the following statement with respect to the earth observation satellite 6 eos6 earth observing mission was placed in the geosynchronous orbit by the pslv polar satellite launch vehicle it is expected to provide improved accuracy in daily monitoring of phytoplankton ocean carbon of tag harmful algae bloom adlards and climate studies satellite will have the capability to map concurrent measurement of ocean color sea surface underwater temperature and sea surface winds i think only and only b is the right answer to you know about the third generation indian satellite for monitoring ocean formally named as earth observation satellite 6 eos6 was launched abroad the proven launch vehicles polar satellite launch vehicle on its 56th flight today's launch designated pslv 65c54 also accommodated the other small satellite with ocean set 3 the ocean set 3 was placed in the polar orbit at the height of the about 740 km above the sea level ocm ocm team with the high signal tone noise ratio is expected to provide improved accuracy in daily monitoring of the phytoplankton having wide range of operational and research application including fishery resources management ocean carbon uptake harmful algae bloom and climate studies the satellite will have a capability to map concurrent measurement of ocean color sea surface temperature sea surface winds and is expected to provide a great boost to the ocean observing capabilities of the global scientific and operational communities in addressing the ocean decade objectives and challenges it can not provide underwater sea temperature the third generation indian satellite for monitoring the ocean formally named as earth observation satellite 6 was launched today by the indian space research organization isro in partnership with the ministry of earth science consider the following statement with respect to united nation country team unct united nation country team unct exist in the all members countries of the united nation united nation country teams is led by the united nation resident coordinator who is representative of the un secretary general at the regional groups un city includes all the un entities working on sustainable development emergency recovery and transition in the programs countries which are the correct i think it's a d only three united nation country team exist 132 countries covering all of the 162 countries where there are the united nation program UNC as UNCT T UNCT is led by the UN resident coordinator who is the representative of the, the UN secretary general in the given country the UN resident coordinator is the highest ranking representative of the UN development system at the country level the RC's lead UN country teams and coordinate the UN support to the countries in implementing 2030 agenda UNCT includes 
all the UN entities working on a sustainable development, emergency recovery and transition in the poor arms countries. The UN city ensures in the agency's coordination and decision making at the country level. Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Sri Bhupender Yadav, addressed the special United Nations country team on the key themes and tax way from COP27 at the house, UN house today.